your host Larry, and today I'm going to try and help you fix the problem where DS4 Windows will not detect that you have the .NET Framework installed, thus meaning that you can't run the app at all. So the first thing, let's just download the proper version off the bat, just so we can get started on the right foot. Let's go to download on the .NET website. I'll put the link in the video description. And then down here you'll find .NET 6.0, and we want the .NET runtime, not the SDK, that's for developers. And then here in the middle is the desktop app, and we want to download the 64-bit version. Go ahead and click on that. It'll ask you to download something, just download it to whatever folder you want and install it. And then that should, for most people, allow you to run DS4 Windows and follow the rest of the tutorials that myself or other people have given you. If that's still being a problem, there is actually just a .NET section here for downloads, and then you can find the latest and greatest of 6.0 in this little list here, and you can try downloading and installing the 64-bit Windows SDK, which is up here. The SDK version has been known to help fix a lot of problems for a lot of people. I can't guarantee that it'll help you, but it's worth a try. We're just trying to troubleshoot here. The other thing that we can do, let me just close one of these, is we can go to the out of date unsupported versions and go to .NET 5.0. And then down here, another version that people have reported works very well is installing the SDK version of 5.0.0. Um, in this case, you'll want probably this version here, which is 5.0.1, which is the SDK version, but you can try this version or just the desktop runtime version. And remember, you want the, I presume you want the Windows version. I don't do tutorials on how to do this on Mac and Linux, but just remember to download the installers for the Windows edition so you don't cause other problems. The other things that I've had happen is I've had to reinstall 6.0 on top of 6.0, just on top of itself, for it to behave. And for some reason, that kind of kicked it into gear. Sometimes you have to restart your computer right after. Sometimes you have to try running DS4 Windows as admin the first time so that it runs through the proper setup. Provided all of that stuff goes correctly, you should be able to run DS4 Windows, install it locally in the folder with the app itself, and then go off to the races playing with your PS4, PS5, Nintendo controller on your Windows 10 PC. That's about most of what I know. If there's other bugs related to it, I'm not entirely certain. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. I hope this helps you solve your problem. And until next time, have a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe.